Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a test on what I thought might have been the lightest, easiest, do-it-yourself alcohol stove that I've ever made. I wasn't claiming that I originated the idea, as I've had pointed out to me by a lot of people. It's basically a cat stove, a low-pressure side burner stove. I don't have any cats, so I never got around to making one. This is just something that I made up and wanted to test. Uh, I had Digitizer 101 post a video where he showed his that he was trying to make. He said he had problems with inserting the lid, the top part into the bottom part, that it would make the can crumble. I had the same problem except I had it when the stove was burning. Basically it collapsed like this. I had several people say that uh, on that axe can stove I should put carbon felt in it so that if the stove did tip over all of the alcohol wouldn't go flying. So on my fifth, fifth, yeah my fifth test of this I put in um, fireplace gasket. It's a fiberglass rope in the bottom and apparently it burned a whole lot hotter and the weight of the Boy Scout pot with two cups of water in it just collapsed the stove straight down. Now the weight of the pot with two cups of water is 624, about 624 grams or 21.95 ounces or 1.372 pounds one and a third pounds. I think what my problem was is I used eight, no I used 16 quarter inch holes around here and it left very little material to support the pot. You can pull it back out. See how it was very small areas there to hold up the weight of the pot. So what I'm going to do today is try another one this time I've only put in eight three sixteenth inch holes which leave a much larger area to support the pot. Now I poked, I punched those. The uh, paper punch, a regular paper punch is about a quarter inch hole. I wanted something a little smaller. So I have a hand punch like this and I had three sixteenth, three sixteenth inch punches on it. But you can also do the same thing if you have yourself a leather punch. This is something that you, you can pick up at Harbor Freight. A lot of people that have these around the house to punch holes in their belts and stuff. This will punch holes, although a little bit harder. Let's see. I have a small video here I'll show. This shows how I cut the uh, cans apart using a Dremel like tool. Let me show you this. I may speed it up. Okay, with that, that was a Dremel tool. I go through so many cans that I set up a rig so I can cut these cans easier. Basically, it just cut it into three pieces. The middle piece I don't need. I use those for shims or whatever. But it gives you the top and bottom piece. Now, to keep this from collapsing, even with the 16 holes, I didn't have any problems putting it together. You have to make sure that these edges are smooth. You sand them down and you get all of the burrs off of them. This side and this. Once you've done that, once it's smooth, all I do is I take the top part. Oh, also, cutting out this, 
the uh, I try to do this so that I can use one can per stove. Some people might do it where they take two cans and use the bottom of two of them. But with this method, I can use one can, one stove. Now to cut out this part, you just take a safety knife, box cutter, whatever, with a sharp blade preferably, and you just go in the groove that's here. Just go around and around and around. Once pushing in lightly, once the blade starts punching in, then you're ready. I just get a screwdriver then and just punch the thing out on the edges. But any, And then sand it down. So all you do is you put it top down. No, I take that back. Top up. Just like that. Take the bottom, flip it over. Set it on top of this. And just gently rock it down. and it'll stop at the right height. There we go. Just like that. Now even with the 16 holes I was able to do that with no problems. You gotta make sure that all the burrs are off. So I have here one fluid ounce of denatured alcohol, SLX, Let's start this. Now this may be a slower time because of smaller and fewer holes. Let that burn for a minute. I have two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. We have to let make sure that this gets warm enough. Then you just take the pot, slowly set it down on the stove, watching the jets come out. There to go. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 652. 6 minutes 52 seconds. Let's see how long it takes to, to uh, burn out, run out. Okay, and there it looks like it just ran out at, let's say, 11.52. Cool. Now, one thing I didn't do was I didn't get a weight on this. When this cools off, I'll weigh it. I don't think it'll change much just for the metal out of eight holes. So, let's see where this went. <clears throat> Two cups of water starting at about 60 degrees, it was 59.60 I believe. Came to a boil in 6 minutes 52 seconds and ran out in 11 minutes 52 seconds. So obviously the one fluid ounce of alcohol is too much. Probably could get away with uh, maybe a half ounce or a little more than a half ounce. On previous tests, on this one when I tested it, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 4 minutes and 50 seconds versus 652. Now when you consider that it had half the jet holes that's not too bad. Uh, run out on this was 8 minutes and 40 seconds versus 11 minutes 52 again because of the fewer holes. Okay it cooled off right away. 
Now there are different things I could try. I could try a different configuration. These holes with the same holes in the middle but higher to give me the 16 or smaller holes with more of them around here. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a sore throat. So I hope that helps. I'll put a link to uh, Digitizer 101's video over here. I thank you for watching and as always I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions and watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second thing.